In thinking about career choices, have you ever asked yourself, is engineering right for me? It's a simple question, but one that's not so easy to answer. In this video, we will explain and illustrate some fundamental features of the engineering profession. That is, we will try to define what it is that makes engineering, engineering. Engineering is an incredibly diverse and exciting field, but it can also be confusing because there are so many types of engineering. Examples of engineering fields include civil, chemical, electrical, environmental, computer, mechanical, industrial, aerospace, biomedical, construction, and agricultural. People often try to answer the question, what is engineering, by describing each of these many fields. That may be useful if you know you want to be an engineer, but if you're not sure engineering is right for you, a good place to start is to take a look at the common characteristics of all these fields. Underlying all engineering fields is a common way of thinking, analyzing, and solving problems. At the heart of engineering is problem solving. So, and, and we all like to solve problems and, and accomplish things in life. And I think engineers are really goal oriented. Uh, they like to uh, have objectives, have dreams, have goals, and accomplish them. So if you've got uh, some interest in mathematics and some interest in physics and applying those to everyday challenges and solving them and seeing the fruit of your labor come to increase the quality of people's lives, and engineering is a great field for you. The way in which engineers think and work has been defined as the engineering method, comparable to the scientific method, which you may already be familiar with. The engineering method is defined by four characteristics. First, the engineering method is used to analyze, model, and solve complex technical problems that require an integrated, interdisciplinary view of problem solving. What that means is engineers solve complex and challenging problems that matter most to individuals, communities, and societies. On the Homeland Security front, we are working on a contactless fingerprint sensors. So this is an example of a biometric application where you have engineering involved because you have to design the optics on taking the images, you have to design the sensors, you have to package it all for applications in, for example, airports. And then there is the computer science and software involved in actually doing the matching between a pair of given fingerprints. Another characteristic of the engineering method is that engineers conceptualize complex systems as a collection of smaller, simpler components. Engineers work to simplify these systems by keeping the important components, eliminating the less important, and then using mathematical relationships to describe the important characteristics of the system. Engineers break down complex systems into simpler components and in a sense take the problem apart, not physically, but intellectually. And central to the way engineers think is quantification. The third characteristic of the engineering method is the development and use of mathematical simulation models. Such models become the engineer's tool for examining, understanding, visualizing, and designing complex systems. Although engineers may conduct experiments using scale models, the use of mathematical computer simulation models is common across all engineering disciplines. Because a simulation model must incorporate all the important characteristics in a system, you can think of their development as putting a system back together. Finally, the engineering method involves synthesis and design. Engineers design useful devices, products, or systems within a broad context of users, organizations, or communities. In this process, engineers must take into account factors such as reliability, safety, flexibility, economy, and sustainability. Many people think that, um, math, that engineering is just about liking math and science, and that is a component of it, but an engineer doesn't sit in a cubicle just doing calculations all day. Engineers work as usually in big multidisciplinary teams. Um, they need very good communication skills, interpersonal skills, problem-solving skills. And if you think of the communication skills, you're not just dealing with other engineers, you may be, be dealing with public officials, um, the general public at large, your client, and so you really have to be able to um, explain uh, your project to them and your solution to it. Engineers do not design things by trial and error. Designs are based on extensive analysis and modeling and by incorporating ethical considerations, judgment, and common sense. So do you think engineering is right for you? I hope so, 
because the world today is facing enormous challenges. Challenges such as global warming, burgeoning population growth, continually increasing energy demands, natural resource depletion, and the challenge of sustainable growth. I'm convinced that engineers will be able to solve these problems, but this country and this world needs more young men and women to enter engineering. I think engineering is a very good field for women. I've never found any barriers um, in practice or in academics. Um, I think it's a very exciting field. I think it's a very flexible field. There's lots of different job opportunities. You can decide you want to work close to home. You can decide you want to travel. There's lots of opportunities. And you can really pick um, the type of lifestyle that suits you. As a parent, a professor, and Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at the University of Buffalo, I hope you will consider engineering as a career and join other engineers in helping to solve the complex problems we face today.